All right, so I'm going to show you how to fix up DMC3 SE with Style Switcher and a few other cool mods. So right off the bat, you're going to want to open up the game files, which should look like this when you first install it. Next up are going to be the mods themselves. So all of these will be linked in the description. First is Style Switcher itself. You're just going to want to hit the download button here and give that a download. The next mod you'll want to download is the DMC3 Starter Pack. This has a couple files that we'll be making use of, but a lot of the files in here uh, are kind of redundant because they're already in the Style Switcher mod we downloaded, which is a more updated version of what was included in this Starter Pack here. But there are still some useful files, so we'll need it. And finally, I'm going to be linking to a YouTube video which has a couple of useful mods. Uh, first of which has a lot of quality of life improvements that kind of makes Style Switcher even better. Kind of adds on some more features. For that, you'll just want to download these two files right here. And the second one, which is the second link in the description, uh, fixes up some audio driver problems which causes the game to kind of have a slight stutter whenever you enter a new room and the music track, usually background noise, changes. So that'll take care of that. Just something to note though, if you use that audio stutter fix, you won't be able to adjust the music volume in StyleSwitcher.ini, but you can still disable it in StyleSwitcher.ini if you don't want to have music at all. And for this, you'll just want to download SND.DRV. That's the file you'll need. All right, now for the easy part, actually. Now that you have all your files, uh, just open up Style Switcher, and you're gonna wanna highlight all the files here and just drag and drop them right over. Easy as that. Next, you're gonna wanna double click on install.bat, and this little command prompt will open. Very important, you're gonna wanna hit one for D sound because that's the only one that's compatible with the other mods that we'll be installing. Next, we're going to want to open up StyleSwitcher.ini. This is where you're going to be editing all the settings that you want. I'm not going to go through every single setting in here. If you're interested in what a setting does, you can check in the documentation PDF that's in the files here. So first up, we're going to want to set our mode to one. That is how you do full screen. Next up, resolution. This is where you set your monitor resolution. If you don't know how to do that, you can just right click on your desktop and go to display settings and it should say right here. So whatever it says there, just enter that in and you'll get your correct resolution. The at 60 is the frame rate. I recommend leaving this at 60, but if you want to mess around, you can turn it up. The RGB settings here will affect the devil trigger aura that goes around you when you pop DT. Uh, you can edit that to whatever RGB value you want. Arcade mode is for kind of skipping to exactly what room you want. Uh, here's some settings here. Infinite MP is infinite devil trigger. Infinite rainstorm is uh, rainstorm where you can just hold the button down to keep shooting. Infinite round trip is a round trip that lasts forever for Virgil when you're playing as him. Infinite sword pierce is the same deal, but for Dante's sword pierce. A low buffer changes the amount of button presses required to activate Dante's crazy combos. Next up, we'll talk about the big setting here, style switcher. Just set that to a one. And there you go, you'll be able to style switch. Weapon switcher. If you want to have more weapons than just the default at the same time, enable this. Just a warning though, don't save if you have this feature enabled or else your game will crash anytime you try and play it with weapon switcher turned off. So it's fun to mess around with, just don't save. Weapon switcher devil here, what that does is it lets you pick what devil trigger form you want uh, because it doesn't change on the fly with this one, unfortunately. So if you want to know what number each devil trigger is for, 
um, check the documentation. I know one, zero is the default rebellion, one should be Cerberus, and so on. Weapon switcher melee and weapon switcher range. This is how you can customize what your loadout is when you have weapon switcher enabled. Uh, so you can mix and match whatever order you want your weapons to be in. Each number here represents the weapons in the game. So zero is Rebellion, one is Cerberus, two is Agni and Rudra, three is Nivan, four is Beowulf, five is Ebony and Ivory, six is Shotgun, seven is Artemis, eight is Spiral, and nine is Kalina Ann. If you don't want to have every single weapon in the game with you, just replace some of these numbers with FF. Like I said, you can reorder these numbers whatever you want. So if you want Beowulf and then right after hitting the button, it's Cerberus, you just put four before putting one. Now down here, there's some very important settings. Disable sound driver is how you'll turn on and off the music. So leave that at zero if you want the music on. The next important setting is force mode zero. You're gonna wanna make sure you set this to equals one because at equals zero, you have kind of like frame drop problems with this game. But if you turn that on, you should be fine. I'm not sure why it's not like that by default, but just make sure you hit that. Volume BGM, 100 is full volume and zero is muted. And you can adjust that to kind of check the, have the music be whatever kind of volume level you want. Just remember if you're using that uh, sound driver fix that we downloaded earlier, this won't actually do anything. So if you're fine with just having it at the default, then yeah, don't worry about this. And finally, at the very bottom, we have a couple of optional stuff. Hide cursor just kind of makes your mouse go invisible when you're opening the game. Invert camera does what you'd think it would do. Language does what you would also think you would do. If you want to change the game language, make sure you check the documentation to figure out what number represents the language you will be using. Skip cutscenes automatically skips the cutscenes. Skip intro skips the intro cutscenes. Subtitles does the same kind of thing as language. It's what language the subtitles will be in. Also check the documentation. And subtitle enable turns on and off the subtitles. So at zero, no subtitles. All right, we're almost done. You're gonna wanna open up the starter pack now. Uh, like I said, some of these files are redundant, so we're gonna be skipping a few. We're gonna wanna be skipping number one for core, which is just an older version of Style Switcher. Number two for settings, because we just edited those. Uh, number three, we're gonna wanna use, this'll make your controller work at all, pretty much. So make sure you drag and drop this file right into the main files over here. Button prompts, optional, but if you want button prompts for PS2, Xbox 360, or Xbox One buttons, just drag and drop the native folder over into here and hit replace. And lastly, the music fix. Uh, same thing as with button prompts, just drag and drop the native folder right into the main files here and click replace. And last step before we're done and you can finally play the game, just drag these miscellaneous extra mod files that we downloaded right in there. And that's it, we're done. Now let's launch the game. Okay, slight exaggeration on we're done. Uh, what you're gonna wanna actually do next is go to Steam and click on controller layout. Uh, you'll find that your triggers won't work at all unless you do this. So what you're gonna wanna do is hit edit layout and you're gonna wanna go to triggers on the side. I got lost here for a second, they changed this whole menu. I don't like it. Anyways, hit triggers and for R2, you're going to want to set that to a key. So just click on the top there keyboard and hit the E key. For L2, you're gonna to wanna to do the same thing. Right on the top, click keyboard and hit the Q key. Now you can just mash the back button to close this menu. And now you can finally play the game. 
So when you open up the game, you're going to see this menu for the first time. Uh, little weird, not used to that. To toggle it, you just press the insert key on your keyboard and that'll make it appear and disappear. If you wanna know what these settings actually do, just watch the video where you downloaded the mod from because that can explain it better than I ever could. So yeah, that's how you install the MC3 and set up Style Switcher and some other cool mods to go with it. Uh, very fun version of the game to just mess around and play. Um, yeah, hopefully you found it easy, the guide helpful, and that's all. I'm going to close out here. So yeah, have fun.